Hey, it's Mikey. And Zenith. And we're going to record a commentary for our Flintstones Jogging Fever Reveal. Okay, three, two, one, play. Okay, so this was recorded three years ago. You can tell by my hair, which is very short. Yeah, uh, and it's finally going up. Uh, when we're recording this, it went up ten minutes ago. That's how long it took me to edit this. <laughs> so. The idea for this, I want to say it was you who originally approached me going like, we've known each other for years, we haven't done a crossover, let's do a crossover. Yeah. And at the time, I was working on two oh, other videos oh, for two other Flintstone specials, which I, which are on the DVD that I'm going to hold up in about, yeah. There's four specials on that disc. I have done reviews of two of them at the time, and I wanted, and I figured, okay, well, there's two others on there, you want to do one of those. Mm -hmm. So, that's, this is your intro. My, my your intro. old intro, that's how old this is. Your intro's too long. But I had to keep it because you're going to say, my intro. It's, it's animated. <laughs> so I still have to use it even though it's... Because yeah, right now Farad did my uh, current intro. Uh, so it's like, okay, and then I, I'm going to have a new intro come November. So. Now, there is an alternate version of this. We did an extra shot. There was an idea like, have somebody come in and say, can I be a cameo? And we both say, no. But then, I, as I was editing it, it's like, you know what? It is actually funnier to have no cameo whatsoever. Especially with my film budget. Phrase, people, you're going to be hearing it a lot in this special. Jog, jog, diggity, jog, jog, jog. They say this many times in this special. It's like the idea that Barney is getting in shape. It's the running gag. Get it? He's also very easily offended, as he's insulted that Wilma implies it would do him good as well to do some jogging. And he decides he's going to take this out on Barney, who has thus far done nothing far wrong. Done like, nothing wrong. Barney, has, Barney and Fred, up until this moment, have not interacted in this special. So apparently, Fred's mad at him for something his wife said. It's so weird. Like, he's mad at Barney for no reason, just because he's fat. <laughs> And you know, I'm out of shape too, but that's, I, and I'm skinny, so it, it has nothing to do with him being fat. <laughs> the Flintstones vitamins joke, uh, there's actually an alternate take, which I'm pretty sure I put in the blooper reel whenever I release that, where I say delicious fruit pebbles. <laughs> but I thought the vitamin joke works better for the fitness ideas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, especially because the pebbles has another thing later. <laughs> You can probably guess who failed at this point. And of course, the rest of the quarry takes the opportunity to rub it in. Oh dear God, what is up with their faces? He has a Hitler mustache. <laughs> I don't remember why he got so fucked up on that wine shop, but he's like, why do they look so mean? Right? They look so weird. Oh, this is maniacal laugh scene. It took many takes to get this right because. You I kept, right after he starts the laughter part, I keep forgetting my line because I'm just like, why are you doing this to me? I perfected my maniacal laugh though. Good. Okay. What am I considering the insane one again? I have no idea. <laughs> After being insulted by everyone at work, Fred then decides to enter the upcoming Roxton Marathon and And again, they use their feet while wind. driving cars, so how are they out of shape? This is going and to be And Roxton being our subject for the Boston Marathon. <laughs> Training is off to a great start, I see. Thankfully, Barney starts Fred jogging. It's time for the sleep jogging. Have woken him up first. Apparently, sleep jogging is the new craze in town. Now, it's not this next Fred shot of that woman, when it zooms in, with when I zoomed in originally, uh, well, it actually the first cut morning of training. the uh, because this is in a square side, not the widescreen, because that's how old this, this special is. But when I zoomed it in, it actually did take up the entire wow, screen, so there was one you shot where suddenly the yeah. animation Aren't went from full screen to widescreen. <laughs> so I actually had to go back in and re-crop it myself to uh, using black bars just so that I could 
so they look consistent and didn't look like it was suddenly a wide speed shot in the middle of this. I mostly got it right, but I'm pretty sure if you zoom in close enough, you will see that like uh, one of the two sides, it actually doesn't go in the exact right length as it is currently now. Mm. But then again, that's more technical than you do with, than I do with my videos. I have people do that for me. <laughs> Gonna fly now. This is not the Rocky music. I cannot put the Rocky music in this video because it would get flagged and I, you know, and considering, and frankly, I did not want this to get flagged, so the song is some oh, generic I really fan <laughs> It's called Highlight Reel. It actually works very well for sports montage stuff that I do. It's gonna be a montage. Yeah, uh, and I did use, and I used the same song for the end theme, because again, I just wanted something that I knew wouldn't get a copyright thing, so it's just it's generic music for again. It can be for any situations. They don't have food that good on airlines. Wait a second. Not these days. Did Mr. Slate and all his co-workers go along? Yeah, they just shut down. They Was they just shut down the quarry right? for an entire like week. <laughs> Did he just close it and everyone gets a free vacation? You know. I would like a free vacation. The brightest businessman after all. Okay, so now we're getting to this part, the Pebbles talk section, and this is more or less the exact reaction of the two of us. I was, I was like, okay, what is this? And he was like, okay, what is this? <laughs> I was taken aback. I need it a minute. I need it a minute. <laughs> So, in the context of the scene, Fred's weird dream sequence is that Pebbles is going to enter the Rockston Marathon in, in his place. Pebbles! For, and that is somehow going to convince Fred that, you know, he's going to run in some reason. Just talks! And... Is this real life? <laughs> is this just no, fantasy? Really? What you actually do say that in one of the alternate versions yes. of the... Is of it. Fred is and, uh, to run and, and, I, and I actually respond, don't let it go too long. Fred into it. Okay. Or just not have him be <laughs> You'll see that in the blooper reel whenever I upload that part. I'm pretty sure I put a fast clip in there. Voice actor in this scene. And yes, that is Pebbles. Pebbles is, has the same voice actor in this scene as well. I, I checked it on two different sites to make sure it was her. Like, why couldn't they just get Wilma to do it? It'd be less freaky. <laughs> I, I just, I, I, I just need a bit of, uh, okay. I sound so drunk in this. It's too much. It's too, it's too much. There, there. Everyone has their first bizarre questioning everything moment when they're watching Hanna-Barbera specials. Pretty sure there's so, another yeah, take in there where, I, where I mess it up as, as, as just an act as right from the start that, that he's not there. Oh, damn, damn, I forgot he gets exhausted. I think that's in the blooper reel, I don't remember. The blooper reel to come, to come eventually. Yeah, it'll be out eventually. I'm pretty sure I, I don't know if I'll upload it before I upload this commentary we're recording now, but... No joke. Reach you Reaching that was hard. <laughs> now, I do know that in the Google Reel there's an alternate version where you actually do reach all the way and you actually accidentally knock the DVD off the, off the pillow. <laughs> the entire reason that DVD is just sitting there in the back of this for the entire crossover is for that one shot because we, we just wrote in the script, Zenith reaches for something that's too far away from me to reach. And I didn't, we didn't have any idea what it was going to be at the time, so I was like, you know, I still have a DVD, so I may as well, let's just use that. That's our couch gag. Something. In preparation for this review, I watched the other three specials in this. And I did. Honestly, I watched all the specials. The worst of the bunch. I did. I watched it all specials when I was originally doing the two crossovers with uh, Zenith and Miss Magnet, two of the other ones. Is so I just watched all four of them in a row. They're not long. Each one's like, like 25 minutes. For yeah, they're not bad. Reason. And the Pebbles Dream Sequence. And that was what I was learning with Iononi, so we watched that at the same time. In short, it was tough to sit through. I wouldn't say this one's and the yeah, worst. Yeah, I stand by this. Uh, Wind Up Wilma is the one I like the At least. least. This one has a bad. Uh, this one, I, I, I want to say, I did so far as to say, it's great, but it's great special. It's tolerable. It's, 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 it's fine. There are some it's okay. Yeah. Hunts. And considering and how much the Frankenstones are promoted, yeah. including and being in the This is one thing one of those big points is that just for about 15 seconds. The Frankenstones only the only Frankenstone in here, despite being in the credits. Of this, it is at least worth but yeah. So anyway, watch. 
Now can I please get back to my jogging regiment? Sure, go ahead. Good. Jog, jog, dig it in, jog, jog. Also in the outtakes reel is one take where she just keeps going. <laughs> like that, like that job, job, jiggy, job part goes for like twenty seconds or so. <laughs> yeah. I just didn't stop. More, title card by Morgan Merrill. Thank you for doing that for me. Uh, and uh, you can find my stuff uh, over at Zenith Will Review on YouTube. Um, I'm doing more video game stuff these days, but yeah. So that is the Flintstone Shoggy Fever. I now covered three of the four specials on that DVD. I don't know if I will ever get to that fourth one, but maybe just putting it out there. But anyway, that was Johnny Fever. Good night, everybody.